Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fergie and if you're new here, welcome. I do mother beauty and lifestyle vlogs and today it's a very exciting topic. As you can see from the title, I lost a few pounds, around like 15, 16 pounds and I want to let you know how I lost that pound and this is just a journey which I'm starting after my pregnancy so let's get started. So I will tell you a brief um, history like I will tell you why, why I'm trying to lose weight so I'm trying to lose weight because when I was in my pregnancy um, I started I conceived around like 190-120 pounds and when I delivered I was around 183 or 184 pounds my doctor was not concerned at all with my weight gain so I was like okay and I gained a lot of weight around like um, the last month i gained like every week it was like so much uh, weight gain i don't know why but whatever i gained that much weight because because i wasn't moving as much as i should have around that time because i was going to law school then after graduating from law school i was pregnant like I was going to law school and I finished law school the whole time I was pregnant and I started uh, studying for a bar around like at that time I was like five months pregnant so at the time I was studying and I was uh, sitting at one place on the chair all day at home for 11 12 hours sometimes like 17 hours and the when the exam was like finally arriving I was studying and I was snacking almost all day and I had to cook and I was doing studying, I was cooking, I couldn't go outside because I was so stressed, stressed out and um, I was waking up around like uh, 3 a.m. 4 a.m. in the morning and I would just because I couldn't sleep it was so much stress that I have to give this exam and and I think my hormones were like all crazy but it's a good thing that I started <laughs> when I was pregnant so I could I didn't move at that point and I kept on eating a lot and I think that attributed a lot of a weight gain to me and I am so I feel so guilty but I, I felt so good eating so much stuff because I always crave so like sweet I didn't crave any kind of sour or anything I always crave like ice cream and chocolates and a lot of fruits and a lot of watermelons I just everything so besides sour stuff oh, I didn't want to have any kind of sour thing so that's how I uh, gained my weight so after I delivered around like three months postpartum uh, my doctor said that I can do exercise and I started doing exercise on and off because I had to take care of a newborn I had to breastfeed I have to hold him I have to rock him to put him to sleep I know you moms out there who are new moms you understand the struggle of exercising and um, taking care of a newborn you know like three months four months five months so that's what I was doing and I had a third degree tear so it was like horrible I couldn't really squat it really hurt me very bad I couldn't sit on the hard floor uh, until like six months it was like really bad for me so I it was like very on and off and then around like four or five months it was like I did it for a month or two and I was really seeing like good results but then I don't know what happened I didn't feel like exercising because I think the COVID hit and it was like a really depressing time that I had to stay inside all day and I didn't want to do anything nothing is like um changed yet like it's still COVID I'm sitting here in India all day inside home so almost but nothing has changed but it still felt very depressed I don't know if it was like postpartum depression or something but it was very depressing to sit at home and not do any kind of exercise so I wasn't gaining any kind of weight uh, while breastfeeding like I pumped so I didn't gain any kind of weight even while pumping or uh, I didn't lose any kind of weight even if I didn't want to lose weight it just kept on one point it didn't go up or down like it didn't it's it just where it was. Now I'm 21 months postpartum and I religiously started exercising for one and a half months 
today was two months of uh, doing my exercise. I'm doing the beach body uh, workouts, the 80 day obsession. If you wanna uh, buy beach body workout, I'm not a coach. If you wanna buy beach body workout, you can. I paid $99 for one year and I thought that it is a good investment because while going to the gym, I used to pay like $30 a month. So that was way expensive than what I paid now. So I thought that if I pay a little money, then I would be accountable for myself. Like I paid money and I have to do this or else it's like, why well, didn't pay the money? I'm doing the 8 day obsession and as people said, it's like a very, very good program. And I really started seeing results. No, I won't say right away, but within like three or four weeks, it really, um, I really started seeing results. I won't say I lost a lot of pounds, or maybe it seems like a okay pounds, but I didn't feel like I was losing weight. But I, but I had like smaller clothes, so they fit me really nicely, and they were like not too. They didn't just to even like. I got like two jeans. One is size six, and one is size four. Uh, I tried after one month. The six fit me so nicely. I was like so amazed, and the. Size 4, I tried it like two weeks before and it just fit me, it didn't fit me like I wouldn't say I had to, don't have any kind of belly fat, I do have a belly fat but it did fit me, it didn't used to like get up, like fit me on my thighs before so this that was nice. I got a lot of like this shirt you were saying, see how nicely it fits, I just love it, like see. It's even got a little loose. Like before I came here, it used to be like so tight on my chest and so tight. Like it used to be like this. I feel like I'm losing a lot of uh, fat from my body. I'm not starving myself, and uh, I would say I'm eating healthier than I was um, eating before. Not the healthy yes stuff but I am eating much more healthier. I am doing intermittent fasting, which is um, if I'm eating around like 8.30 or 9 for um, my dinner, I would not eat till like 12.30 or 1 p.m. the next day in the afternoon. So I'm trying to have like a 15 to 16 hour of gap at a stretch uh, between eating anything but i'm while i'm exercising i'm drinking my choline uh, powder i'm uh, drinking my on brand protein powder the whey protein powder because i didn't find the isolate protein powder in here i'm taking one cup of uh, almond milk as i am lactose intol intolerant with the whey protein powder every time i work out but i'm taking the almond milk alternate days i do not take it every day i mix it and that's what i drink during workout and then i eat rice i do eat the rice maybe i don't eat like a mountain of rice but i eat like in moderation i eat like rice i eat vegetable curries i'm eating fish i'm eating dal i'm eating everything honestly whatever my mom is cooking i'm just eating it in the afternoon obviously i'm eating lunch around like one and it, it ends around like 1 30 1 45 and then i'm not eating anything until like 4 or 4 30 and only like 4 or 4 30 if i'm if i'm very hungry uh, i'm eating like um rice cakes with a little bit of peanut butter and banana on the top or sometimes one or two biscuits i know that's not the healthiest thing and sometimes i'm eating maybe nuts um or i have oh i have posted a recipe before another recipe it's like a desert kind of thing but protein powder and um i will i will put it in the link on the description down below and i'm drinking like a gallon of water every day it's around like three point something liters every day that's what is really important you need to hydrate yourself or else you will feel very hungry like if you really are feeling if i feel hungry and i drink like almost like this much water i will be like i want to vomit i just don't want to eat anything so that's what i feel like that's what emotional i just emotionally want to eat sometimes and it's not my body is not hungry i just want to eat i know that um women during pms wants to eat i do too 
and during my rest days I do order uh, stuff from restaurants so I know you shouldn't eat junk food but if you're craving a piece of pizza I think you should get like eat that piece of pizza just don't go overboard it if you just want to eat um, Oreos just eat the Oreos and just just eat it just in moderation you can eat everything it's not you have to stop um, eating sugar you don't have to stop eating um, pizzas chicken wings chicken fingers um, whatever it is you don't have to like really stop something that's not sustainable you have to like choose some kind of food which is like sustainable to your lifestyle so that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to eat everything but in moderation and I'm working on six days a week I'm doing as I told I'm doing the 80 days of workout but if you don't have beach body if you don't want to buy beach body you can do any kind of exercises there are a lot of exercises on YouTube you can follow a lot of like Chloe Ting is one of them a lot of other youtubers if you can't do anything just just walk or just move just move your ass out of the bed and just I guess just move I think that helps a lot just your heart rate should go up a little bit for you to just burn the calories I don't know why honestly I just want to tell you something that I don't know if it's from the heat or something but even if I'm in the AC if, if I work out and I ate and after like one or two hours I start like sweating a lot I don't know if it's my metabolism like going up at the time and I'm losing the weight I don't know what's going on but I do that and it makes me feel better that I'm doing something right it's not excessive sweating I don't have any kind of condition like that but I feel like that that's helping a little just let me know down in the comments below that if you know what that what what is happening because I tried to find out but I couldn't find anything on the net so yeah this is how I am um, losing my weight it's not nothing that I will do like three phases of workouts of the 80 days uh, it's like one two three phases I've done two one left and I have started one like the third phase i have done only one day it's not that if i'm done with the day to day workouts i won't do any kind of any more workouts because um exercise has been a part of my life for six years i couldn't do it during my pregnancy because of a lot of stuff that was happening and i really love it i can't i think i can never stop and i and i honestly don't want to stop it at all like if you're trying to lose weight just don't think of like losing weight that's what i have learned from this program like don't think of losing weight just think of you getting stronger every day like just think like if you're like lifting any kind of weights or dumbbells just think how much weight you are lifting obviously um be careful about lifting weights but just think about how stronger you're getting i am just thinking like how stronger i am getting and how much muscle i'm getting and becoming not bulky but leaner and um, I'm not thinking about losing the fat or losing the weight as much as long as I can fit in smaller dresses and smaller things and smaller shirts I'm happy it doesn't have to I don't want to weigh 110 pounds no I don't want to be unhealthy I want to be healthy and um, I want to look unhealthy but I want to be fit I have endometriosis and I know a lot of women suffer from endometriosis and PCOS so I'm an example there are other a lot of other women who are examples so if you were trying to lose weight with endometriosis with PCOS you can do it I know it's hard but it is uh, doable you can do it so uh, I have heard that it's very much a little bit harder uh, for you if you have this kind of conditions to lose weight because this kind of hormones mm, like like doesn't let you lose weight it makes you gain more fat so if you're trying to lose weight don't lose hope just just always think like this is a journey just as your life is a journey this is like your lifelong friend it will never disappoint you if you like keep on sticking to your uh, routine I want uh, yeah a routine it will really definitely pay it off just just 
just keep on moving and you will feel better you will feel confident all the women out are really beautiful and confident and beautiful in their own bodies but if you want to be fitter you just don't have to lose weight and be thin you just have to be healthy and fit that's what the main point is i'm trying to be healthy and i'm trying to be fit so i can raise my family i can raise my son i can have a happy life with my husband and my son that's what and so i can take care of other people that's what my goal is I, my goal is not that um just lose weight and boom i'm done i'm stopping it doesn't happen that way let me know down in the comments below if you really liked my video and if you want to see uh, more videos like this uh, i will be posting i think i will be posting more videos like this um afterwards about my weight loss journey because i have already posted for my one and a half months journey <laughs> and if you really want to know about how i am going through all these phases so uh, my weight loss journey or staying to fit staying fit journey uh, just follow me on instagram the link will be in the description down below and if you really like my video uh, please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe and hit the bell notification so every time you upload a video you guys don't miss out and you guys are all beautiful in your own body in your own self so love yourself and be happy